Chip, chip, chop, chip. What up, ninjas? We are going to talk about moving Steam over to another drive. Um, this could be for a couple reasons. Maybe the drive you have it on is getting full and you need some space. Um, maybe the drive you have is slow. So you're gonna put it on a faster drive. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna show you how to get that done. Right now you can see, um, you know, I'm in my computer um, using Windows. So we're in my computer. And then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the drive that Steam is on. Typically, if you've installed it into your main drive, it would be under your C drive. So my main drive here is uh, Ninja Boss. However, um, I didn't install my Steam into my main drive. I, I installed it into an external drive. So, um, and I believe I did it in this one, okay. So find your Steam folder. Um, normally it'd be uh, C colon slash Steam, I believe. So uh, here's my Steam folder. And what we're gonna do is look at this list and what we wanna do is we wanna save all the games that we've downloaded. Um, we don't wanna delete those because then we'll have to re-download them and that'd be like just reinstalling Steam again and that's not what we're trying to do. So um, your games are underneath this folder right here that says Steam Apps. Now if you double click on that and you go to Common, you'll see th the games that you have. Some of you might have 300, uh, you know, terabytes or gigabytes of uh, games, and some of you might have just a little bit. But um, we don't want to reinstall these games. They take a long time, and especially if you're downloading them off Steam. So let's save them. So there's two files that we need to save, or shall I say, one folder and a file. The folder that we need to save is Steam Apps, and then the file that we need to save is Steam.exe. So what we'll do is we'll copy this, right click on uh, Steam Apps, and hit copy, and then hit back, and go to the drive that you want to install this in. I've already done this step, so you'll see it. Um, I'm going to be installing onto the solid state drive here, and um, I just made a folder called Steam Backup, and then I install, or I, I pasted the, uh, the folder here. If you right click and hit paste, you can uh, drop that folder in here. And if I go back here, it has my game on there. So that's the one um, file you want to save. And if you go back to the Steam folder, you'll also copy the uh, steam.exe, this executable file. Also, um, so just go ahead and copy. Go back to your um, Steam folder that you created and uh, we're gonna paste that in there. So now that we have the two files, or yeah, the two the, the file and the folder that we wanna keep, we're gonna go ahead and go back and uh, we're gonna delete everything except for the game, uh, Steam Apps, and the steam.exe. So go ahead and delete all these files. Boop -a -doop. Uh, Try again. <laughs> okay, we'll just skip this. Skip, skip, skip. All right, let's go ahead and delete everything here except for the steam.exe. Uh, that's it. Delete those. There's so many files and you need to skip. Oh, I know why. Because we have Steam open. So exit out of Steam. All right, let's try it again. So these gotta go. And then these gotta go. And these gotta go. Okay. So now we have these two files. Um, we can either drag these two over or the two that we made in our new drive, we can use. What we want to do is save these files just in case we mess them up. So that's why we made a backup. Um, so I'm going to create a, I'm going to rename this, rename to Steam. Okay, and I'm going to open this up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run steam.exe. 
And what, what this is going to do, it's going to reinstall Steam, but it's going to keep our Steam apps and all our video games. So it's basically just updating Steam. It's saying, hey, look, he doesn't have these files. All he has is the .exe. So, um, and then basically what you're going to do is just let this install. And uh, that's it. You'll go ahead and run Steam like normal. And all your games will be in there. Um, and you're good to go, basically. No more downloading games after. Before, I used to delete Steam, reinstall Steam, re-download my games, and it took forever. And this is actually a really quick process. So I hope this helped, and um, I'll try to make some more tips for you guys. See ya. Move along. Move along, watch the next video. Move along, watch the next video. Move along, move along. Move along, watch the next video. Move along, watch the next video. Move along, move along. Move along, watch the next video. Move along, watch the next video. Move along.